Welcome back, folks, to Sonic Heroes, Team Rose, or Team Fluffy Mushroom. Team Puffy Mushroom. The team Puffy Mushroom. I am so sorry. <laughs> Do you know what reference that is? Just no, curious. I don't. I okay, thought you just made uh, that up. No, actually. Uh, have you ever read or watched uh, Love Hina? No, I have not. So that was actually like the, one of the first mangas I ever bought. Because, uh, I don't know if you remember uh, Nami, uh, my friend that's in uh, Danganronpa. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. She, she was super into, like, uh, anime. That's pretty much where I got, like, into most of it all from. Um, and her sister was, like, uh, over one time, and she was, like, had a copy of uh, Love, Hina just gave it to me, and I was reading it, I'm like, oh, this is cool. It's, like, Tenshi Moya, but without, like, all the stupid aliens. <laughs> but I love Tenshi Moya, so it's fine. But, uh, so, but, yeah, what it is is, like, the three, like, kid characters that are in there. Uh, they decide to go off on their own and, like, go to, uh... Like some crazy foreign island to try and save the main protagonist that got lost in a, like a uh, plane crash or something. Mm. And huh. so they call themselves like Team Puffy Mushroom, and then like they do th all the things that the adults can't because they're terrible. Well, <laughs> <laughs> that's the end of the game. Thanks for joining us, everyone. <laughs> oh, that's interesting about the Team Puffy Mushroom. Uh, it just goes to show that you should know your memes, or I should say, know your manga. Uh, yeah, the. Manga that from, oh man, when when was it now? I have to look it up because it's it feels really dated now that I talk about it now. <laughs> We're old. <laughs> we uh, know this. Well, it's uh, like nowadays. What is it like? Harem anime and stuff. It all feels so like like tactless and soulless. And I bet it, like a lot of the tropes like came from stuff like that and Ranma and Tenchi. Interesting. Um. Hmm. Uh. I, this is why I really like School Days. I don't know if you've watched that, but uh, it's a shorter anime, but it definitely turns the harem anime uh, trope on its head. That's like with like that really like scummy main character, isn't it? Uh, it doesn't start. Okay, so School Days starts out as a very lighthearted comedy. It does not end a very lighthearted comedy. That's all I'll <laughs> say. It, it's short. It's not sweet, but it's short, uh, and uh, I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna say anything beyond that because it's it's a very interesting uh, case study of an anime. <laughs> okay, I'll have to check it out. Uh, so, Love Hina ran from '98 through 2001. Ah, oh. I'll have to look so, that up. So, I think I oh, over here it came out a little bit later, but it was uh, 18 volumes, I think. Oh, okay. So, uh, I mean, it, it's, it's a good, decent read, and up until, like, the last, like, three or four volumes, it's it stayed pretty good. That, that's the thing. Mangas are such, I mean, like, on top of everything else to consume, like, mangas are just such a, uh, such a commitment. Uh, like, I really want to, I, I fell in love with Assassination Classroom, and I really want to, like, read the manga for it, but... I, like just the just the sheer amount of time that's gonna take. I'm like, man, maybe I just maybe I just skip it and you know watch more anime, um, <laughs> so I don't repeat anything. But it's weird for me. I can uh, like ingest manga like at three times the speed that I can watch anime just because I read so fast. Holy cow! Uh, but like Sonix, he, he'll spend like a month on like a single volume of a manga. Like he's he's a much slower reader. He like in, takes it in a lot more. Oh, I see. But I'll, I'll read a chapter like three or four times. And I'll be like, okay. I think I got everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, um... Gosh, that's that's impressive. Um, yeah, hmm. I feel like anime is just easier to consume. Uh, like, it's, like, quicker, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. I've never really given manga a chance either, so I, I should do that at some point. Um... In the meantime, rails, uh, rail grinding is much easier in this game than it is in, uh, let's say, Sonic 06. I don't know where they went wrong. Uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, that's where they went, went wrong. Was it? I, you know, I don't the, remember the, much. The, the rail rails in uh, Shadow are bad. Uh, I think there was one level in particular where rails were, like, they were mandatory and they were plenty. Uh, think, it I might be the, the uh, cyberspace stage. That's exactly what I was going to do. Which yeah, is the of. second stage of the game if you go the dark route. Oh my god, that, that game? Why do I know that? You may find out later. <laughs> oh, did you did you start it? <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Oh boy. <laughs> and here I thought we were getting Mighty Number no. 9 DLC. <laughs> 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 we're getting a different kind of torture. <laughs> oh. I, I, 
What's oh, worse? Yeah. Oh man. Oh man, the fact that that's a question is just sad. <laughs> <laughs> bullet station. There's no bullets to be found here though. So it's a bit of a misnomer. I mean, you're going at like bullet speed? Maybe? You lose oh, a lot of oh. momentum on these rails in this game compared to like Adventure 2. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Um, oh, wait, no, they, okay, never mind. There are like gigantic cannons in the background, probably firing bullet bills, so I'm wrong. There are bullets in the stage. Just a few. I'm clearly not a true Sonic fan. Ah, learn the lore, Will. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you know that this stage was like something 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 from the character that popped up somewhere? Oh God, you know, we joke about it, but there are people who do have that crazy knowledge of, of, of Sonic games. <laughs> I mean, like, look, that's got to be painful, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't judge. <laughs> Hi, I'm Big, and this is Jackass. Okay. <laughs> I'm right now. <laughs> oh, Big's Big Fishing Adventure 4, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I, I remember these these sequences being teased so much in the original trailers for this game, like the whole grinding thing. It's like, hey, look, you get to play as three characters at once, and they all grind at the same time. It's super seamless, yeah. Isn't it great how all their rails are just right next to each other? That's supernatural. Yeah. <laughs> actually, yeah, I think I fell there, painful. too. <laughs> yeah, that, that looks far more painful than the first one, actually. <laughs> um, so do you... Um, do you consciously choose which um, member you're going to level up uh, first in, in these levels? Or? Um, if I can. Mm. Who like, when I, hit, when I hit the checkpoints, I will normally go strength first. And why strength? Um, whenever like, you come across the one bad guy that's got like 40-something life, I'd like uh, to make sure to work of that. God, uh, those, yeah, those bad guys. Um... Yeah, I usually I usually go with flying just because I feel like you, when, when like cream is maxed out, oh holy cow, so you can take out an army uh, of yeah, like smaller uh, ponds, but uh, of the <laughs> oh Osaka, <laughs> uh, but like when it comes to bigger enemies, yeah, it, it, strength is is definitely uh, the most beneficial uh, uh, character. No real need to power up speed, I find like speed not, is is really not just a bonus. usually. No. Um, it in the final fight, it does help a little more than the strength, at least with uh, certain characters. Mm. Just because you attack faster. Uh, final fight, are you talking Egg Emperor or Egg Emperor, final, yeah. final Egg fight? Emperor, oh, yeah. okay. Interesting. Uh, because, like, especially like with Big, like his bounce like takes up so much time, it's faster to just like, you know, go Amy and just like rapid attack. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, with the yeah with Egg Emperor, I've usually gone with um, flying or speed. Uh, power, not so much, but for the same reason you said, like it's just it, it's too slow and sluggish to really get enough hits in. And with that boss, my God, you just want to end as quick as possible. As soon as possible. Yep, because the longer it goes on, the more chance you risk of uh, getting an instant death. So, a lot of those. Yep. So, man, like I always like. The story narrative is that, you know, they're off, like, looking for, um, uh, Froggy and... Uh, Chicola. Ch Chicola, okay. Something weird I don't there. recall Chicola in any of the previous games. Uh, you know what? I don't want to sound like I don't know my Sonic lore twice in one video, so... Chicola wiki. <laughs> no, nope, not uh, chocolate wiki, but that's a thing. Do you really need a wiki for chocolate? I'm going to go ahead and say yes. <laughs> in this I mean, is the in-depth lore of chocolate that, like, fantastic? Uh, wait, sorry, hold on. Chocola, Sonic Heroes parody of Chocola on Scratch. Do I want to click on that? I'm not going to click on that, Zarek. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone watching this video does... Uh, does follow up on that. Uh, leave, a, leave a note in the comments. A part of me wants to know what that is, but like, 
there's a bigger part of me that doesn't want to know. Let's leave that door to the side. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't think Chicola is a character like in any previous Sonic games. So I was thinking maybe like Sonic Advance like as a side thing, but I, I don't think so. If my memory of those games is correct. That was actually pretty smart. Like, lured him back to do the, uh, team attack? Yeah, uh, this boss, it's pretty easy to, uh, uh, to, to trick Eggman, especially with Team Rose, uh, only because they're, like, my god, you, you get, you get that team attack bonus for just about anything. Like, you can pick up a quarter on the floor and, like, you, you, you get a team attack bonus. Yeah, because the problem is, is like, when you're trying to, like, uh, home in on the, uh, individual things on the wing, like, the homing gets jacked, and you'll end up, like, bouncing all over the place. Yeah, I, I, I break a sweat whenever I start doing that homing attack, like, too quick, because I'm afraid the inputs aren't gonna read it properly, and it's just gonna, like, force me to drop. Or Especially you're gonna, over like, not miss that rail and almost fall right off the those, edge. Those two! The, the, the hitbox when it comes to those rails is really finicky. Or I should say the, the collision detection. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, like, you you just, you never know. It's it's 50-50. Like, especially, like, with this is a little more forgivable, but, like, when I died earlier with Big, uh, and then the credits rolled, uh, that was a <laughs> circumstance where that, like, something like that should be a scripted event. I d like, I didn't touch the controller. J Big just jerked off to the side. That was a poor ran. phrasing of it, but, He's yeah. Flew right off. He's like, yeah, I'm good. I yeah. got this. That's it. Game over. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> Talking about out of time, this is the same boss as the first stage. Yeah, it's it's a rehash. Uh, oh. but, uh, it is patent pended. Uh, the, the, he, he got his patent on it this time. So. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah so good, good Frank, man. <laughs> yeah, Le legalities can be tough. Hey, he's got to like get a uh, Orbot to like you know go do a uh, lawyer. He's got to get Cubot to go to the uh, copyright office. And oh man, we know how much of a hassle that would be.